Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm super excited because I just got my hands on the Eligato HD 60X capture card. I picked this bad boy from Amazon for 139 bucks. And let me tell you, I couldn't wait to test it out with my PlayStation 5 and Raspberry Pi setup. You know what's funny? I was scrolling through Amazon looking for a way to record both my PlayStation 5 gameplay and my Raspberry Pi stuff through OBS. And this little device keep popping up in my recommendation. So I thought, you know what, let's uh, give it a shot. And well, here we are. So before we dive in, let me tell you what this thing can do. It's a pretty impressive we are talking about uh, 180p at 60 frames per second with HDR10. Or if you are feeling fancy, you can go up to 4K at 30 frames. And the best part, the latency is super low, which is exactly what you want when you are gaming, right? So listen, I know there are a lot of capture cards out there, but I'm going to show you exactly why this one caught my eye and whether it's worth your money. Well, we're going to test it with my PlayStation 5 Raspberry Pi setup, OB and we're going to do OBS recording so you can see how that is. And I'm going to show you another a clip. I'm going to upload the clip so you can take a look. Um, so, and I'll show you how easy or not. <laughs> So, uh, so it is set to everything up and you can get idea if you like this or not. So stick around because I've got some real testing coming up. No fancy editing, just straight up real results uh, that you get if you bought this yourself. And trust me, you're going to want to see how this perform with your PlayStation 5 and Raspberry Pi setup. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. First of all, packaging, the box is sleek, compact, and has a premium design that aligns with Eligato's branding. On the front, we some uh, see some highlights like 4K 60 HDR pass-through, 180p 60 HDR capture, and compatibility, uh, compatibility with PS5 and Xbox and other consoles. Side panels, we have two, side panels one side it emphasizes uh, the core friendly aspect of the product made 60 percent uh, repurposed plastic with plastic free packaging you can see in here there's a great step toward system uh, sustainability on the other side uh, we see some key features highlight frame rate pass through ultra low latency hdr 10 capture and tone mapping audio input and usb 3 interface it's nice to see eligato focusing on performance and versatility so moving to the back it's packed with details as you can see uh, so there are some highlights so pure pass through you can see in here Pure pass through for playing high resolution like 4K 60O, high frame rates like 180p 240. And we can see in here smooth gameplay with support for VRR, variable refresh rate to eliminate screen tearing. And look at this flashback recording to uh, retroactively capture moments. Perfect for gamers who don't want to miss anything and we can see uh, uh, integration with Eligato's uh, Steam Deck for added controls in here. I want to show you something here. So in here say uh, stream stream record all content without watermark and the time limit. So you don't get any watermark or any time limit so you can capture anytime how long you want that's also cool so there's also a clear illustration on ports hdmi in hdmi out and usb-c 
an audio input making it straightforward to understand how to connect it the size you can see i'm going to open the box i'm going to show you the uh, inside so let's go ahead and open this box now okay before i just open uh, i want to show you one thing quickly in here if you really care about the dimension you can see the dimension in here and the weight so you have, can get a good idea also the system requirements you can see windows 10 uh, actually i have windows 11 so that's fine uh, mac os 11 or, or later and look at the uh, system requirements sixth generation core i5 so it says better nvidia geforce ggx 10x or for better so for at least you need 4 gb of ram so you have need an internet connection so those are the minimum requirements to get this thing going on so now i'm going to open this box so i'm going to put this away just open let me take out the box so we have another box uh cool looks design something in here too so let me quickly uh, go uh, on this back uh, they have a bunch of information in here you can see and so we have full uh, full guideline in here too so yeah so we don't have an extra book so it's coming from the on the same box on the side all right guys uh, see let's see what uh we have inside right um, you know what's cool elgato really knows how to package their stuff nicely i really like that so first up here's the star of the show the hd60 itself man is actually pretty sleek it's it's got this nice matte black finish and it's smaller than i expected like it will fit perfect on my desk without taking up too much space let me, I, let me check the size so i'm going to see the width so e so this one is 11 inches so 4.42 inches it's awesome let me turn off this so look at these ports look at these ports we have got hdmi in and out on one side and usb c on the other super clean design i'm i'm digging it super cool design nice so we have the things going on and some information in here so look at this there's a light i'm not sure what is this is but i will take a look Let's see so nice so what else in the box let me show you guys so we got high speed hdmi cable you're definitely gonna need this for those 4k signals it's the one here is the usb c to uh, usb a cable for connecting to your computer and yep there's a quick start guide in here too so we don't have additional you know book outlet oh wait let me point out something really quick notice how there's no power adapter that's because this thing gets all its power straight from your usb port pretty convenient right one less cable to worry about so that's basically everything you need to get started nothing fancy just the essential but honestly that's all really need that's all you really need right so before we plug in this and uh, to test it out let me get everything set up here i've got my ps5 ready and my raspberry pi is ready so and i'm going to download the 4k capture utility software on my computer and after that we're going to jump in and we're going to test this one out okay let's start the test now i have the hd60 with me and uh, in my screen you can see my my screen and uh, the second screen is the one i'm going to show you in here plug and play and everything the top one is uh hd60 in obs studio so we can see the 
a live view, right? Now, I'm going to test two. One is Raspberry Pi 4 and one is Raspberry Pi uh, 5. Raspberry Pi 5 and Raspberry Pi 4. So first I'm going to chair, chair, test with the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, now get your HD60. You can see uh, we have USB-C port in here. Probably you can <laughs> show you from here. So uh, USB-C, we have HDMI in and HDMI out. So there's only three ports in here, HD60. So now I'm going to connect uh, USB-C port in here and the other end to my computer. Remember, to computer is USB 3. Make sure, check your PC and see the colors, probably the blue one. Remember that, okay? Check USB 3. Connect that and USB C to the HD 60. X, the next one. Uh, now I have my Raspberry Pi 4 in here. I'll put it like this. Where's my cables here? Okay. It's a long bit. So now for the Raspberry Pi 4, you know the cable come like this. Uh, adapters. So you have HDMI, uh, HDMI and uh, HDMI for the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to put the Raspberry uh, Sorry, my bad, my bad. Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, I'm, I have my Raspberry Pi 4 here. So I'm going to connect the HDMI uh, input. And the other end, you can see here, other end, I'm going to connect to HDMI in. I just plug in like that. And now I need to give the power. The power button. Okay, so this is my power for a Raspberry Pi 4. The black cable. I'm going to plug in here. Now for the HDMI 2, you can get a monitor cable, and you can connect. So you also can see from the monitor. If you want to record, this is the one. HDMI 1 is the going for the record, and HDMI 2 is going to the monitor. So you can get a uh, view from the monitor too. So just plug in, you can see now uh, Raspberry Pi 4 is starting up. Let me check from my monitor if I can see anything. She, what happened to my monitor? Probably I unplugged it. Let me check. Seems like it's not working. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to bring him back, close and open it again. But what I'm going to do is, there's my, I need to get the mouse and I'm going to plug the mouse to the Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, you can see the mouse is working. You can see the live action now. I'm going to minimize this a little bit so you can see my Raspberry Pi 4 in action. Cool. Now you can see I'm able to uh, live capture from HD60X to my OBS Studio. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot this. I'm going to unplug the power. Now remember that I'm running RICS OS, Risk OS on my Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to put it back. Let's see if, if it captures the booting. You know, my main concern, I want to capture the booting process on the Raspberry Pi. So let's see. Oh, you can see, you can see it's booting and the mouse is also, uh, we can see it. So this is the one. So my test is uh, almost success with HD 60x. My my really concern about I brought this HD 60 to capture the booting process on my Raspberry Pi. Now Raspberry Pi 4 is excellent. 
I'm able to uh, view it. Now let's uh, move back to Raspberry Pi 5 and see how that does. So I'm now I have Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, keep getting, forgetting Raspberry Pi 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the 4. Now I'm going to put this away. Oh, this is a Raspberry Pi 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first connect the uh, mouse, uh, the black power, put it away because the Raspberry Pi 5 come with the white cable, white power. So make sure you put the right one or choose. I need to unplug this. I need to plug the monitor. I mean HDMI cable, right? Now plug the power. Now in the Elgato signal, it should pop up my Raspberry Pi 5. You can get got a rainbow color. Let's see. I want to see the yeah, we can see the uh, terminal, the booting screen is also success. That's what I want. When Raspberry Pi booting up, I want to see the terminal. It's not about only the Raspberry Pi OS, it's all about all the operating system running on Raspberry Pi. I want to capture that. So was successful let me see if mouse working yes i can see the mouse is can click here yeah see so everything looks perfect hey guys my main goal here was pretty specific i want to capture the raspberry pi boot process which can be pretty tricky to record and guess what it worked perfectly now here's something interesting i didn't actually need to install any Elgato capture software. All I used was OBS Studio and it worked like a charm. Since I'm running NVIDIA graphics card, I just made sure my drivers were up to date and everything ran smoothly. Quick pro tip, make sure you are using USB 3 port for the HD60X. This is super important for getting that clean capture. I learned this is the this is the hard way, so I'm saving you some uh, troubleshooting time. Remember that. So, as you can see here, the boot process is captured perfectly. The quality is fantastic, and there's no lag or shuttering. This is exactly what I was hoping to achieve. Now. I have got something even more exciting coming up. We are going to test this bad boy with PS5. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. If you are trying to, if you are trying this setup yourself and run into any issues, remember these two key points. First, update those graphic drivers. Number two, double check you are using USB 3 port. Drop a Comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video where we put the PS5 to test. Thank you.